In this video, I want to demonstrate how to create the limit angle mate for this part is shown here. So first, I'm going to delete the limit angle mate. So I'll right click on it in the feature tree, select delete, and then yes. Next, from the assembly ribbon, I'm going to use the move component option. And I want to turn on collision detection, tell it to stop upon a collision, and select just this component and this component. And then I'll resume the drag. And I'll drag this down till it touches and I'll say OK. So now I want to select the mate option and I'm going to add an angle mate between two planes. So I'll expand my feature tree. And I'll expand this first part. I'm going to add an angle mate between the front plane of this screw and then I'll scroll down the tree and the front plane of this part. So I'm going to make it to angle and it should go back to where it was. So it goes back to the 81.12 degrees and I'll say OK. And I'll close that. And now this part is fixed, it can't move. Just scroll down because I have an angled mate. Next, I'm going to suppress this feature. And then I'm going to move it back over here. And I'm going to do the move component one more time. So I'm going to select move component, collision detection, stop on collision. And again, just this component and this. I'll resume my drag. I'll drag it down till I hear the clunk. I'll say OK. Next, I'll go to the Evaluate ribbon, and I'm going to select Measure. And I want to measure the distance, again, between those two planes. So I need the angle from the front plane of this part. I'll scroll down to the front plane of this part. And I see my angle is 81.1 degrees. And I'm going to need to remember that. So I should write it down. So I'll close this window. Let's click in white space and I'm going to move this back over here. And I'm going to unsuppress this mate. Handle will move back into that position. Next, I'm going to select the angle mate and I'm going to edit the feature. And I'm going to scroll down here and I go to the advanced mates. And now I want to make it a limit distance. For now, I'm going to put the maximum angle to 180 and say OK. But I want to put the current angle to 90 and I want to watch which way the handle moves. So I'm going to put 90 here and we can see how it moved up away from the part. And that's going to help me calculate this angle. And the equation I'm going to enter is 90 plus 180 degrees to rotate through plus 90 and then I'm going to minus the 81.1 degrees push enter. So I want this part to be able to rotate through an angle of 81.12 degrees to 278.9 degrees. I'm going to say OK. And I'll close this mate window. And then I'm going to check that it works as it should. So I'm going to click and hold on. I'll move it down. It works that way. Then rotate it over and it moves this way. So my limit angle mate works. I'll save my work and continue from there.